here's how I reverse sear a ribeye from Chicago Steak Company. First, I let my steaks rest at room temp for about 30 minutes, and then I take it out of the packaging and pat it dry. Then I put a little bit of olive oil as a binder, and then season with a coarse salt and pepper, and then some garlic powder. I stick a probe thermometer into the middle of the steak so I can monitor temps along the way. We're gonna reverse sear it at 250 degrees. This will take about 45 minutes depending on the steaks. Once it hits 125 internal temp, I'll take it off and pat it dry and then start to sear. To a ripping hot grill, we're gonna sear our steaks for 30 seconds per side until it hits the internal temperature we're looking for. Once we pull off our steaks, I like to hit it with a compound butter, but you don't have to. I did one of each here. After our rest, we're gonna slice them up as we slice them up, you can see it's wall-to-wall -wall pink, which is why reverse searing is one of my favorite methods. You can control the internal temperature and also get a great crust. Once they're sliced up, I like to add a little bit of flaky salt for some extra flavor. Both of these steaks were so good, you'll have to give this method a try.